Hi and welcome to this DCP Web Movie Edit Pro Plus Beginners Tutorial. So this set of video tutorials will explain the basic functions of Magic's Movie Edit Pro Plus and in this first tutorial we're going to focus on this initial screen that loads when you launch the application. So this initial screen is basically asking you to create a new project. That's probably what you're going to be doing first of all when you load up this software. You're going to create a new project and it's asking you what are the film settings that you want to apply to this particular project. Now the film settings really depends on the device that you're using to capture the content. I know for sure that I'm capturing this particular video on my computer and I know that it's running at 1080p resolution. So it's 1920 across by 1080 um, in height. And here you can see the different options of all the different types of resolutions and, f and different file formats. So you've got NTSC here. This is normally for sort of American style file format or, or, or frame rates. And up here you've got PAL, which is UK style frame rate and file format. So for me, I will be selecting PAL HDTV 1080i. 16 by 9 1920 by 1080 p resolution at 25 frames a second that's what speed i'm capturing the video content that i'm creating for my videos or for youtube so i'll select this particular option and i always use the sample rate the audio and leave it at its high settings so you get the best sample rate audio that should be fine and then you should just give your project a name here as default i always leave it just with the date here and then i click ok so when you click OK, it's going to load up the default project. You're going to have a blank timeline here and you're going to have various settings up here and then the video that you're editing can get displayed here for cutting and so forth. So the first thing you should always do is save your work. So I'm going to click Save Project and we'll save this work. And we're going to give it a file name. So I'm just going to call this Selecting Correct Film Settings. You'll give it a relevant file name here and you'll click save. So I've created the basic project and in the next tutorial we'll focus on browsing content, the actual content that we want to add to the actual video itself. So I look forward to seeing you on the next DCP web tutorial.